Hello, my name is Ron Newton. I live here in London, Arkansas. And to tell you a little bit about myself, I'm a full-time bladesmith. I've been very blessed. In the year 1998, I received my journeyman smith title. In the year 2000, I received my master smith title. And in 2012, I received my grandmaster smith title. I am a full-time bladesmith. And something that really excites me is having the opportunity the last couple of months to co-design with the Burke King staff some new attachments. These attachments are very exciting for a couple of reasons. They save me a lot of time, but they don't forfeit quality. They speed up a lot of processes, and they don't forfeit the quality. Actually, they've made the quality better in a lot of applications that I can use this setup in, these accessories. And uh, what I'd like to do is allow my friends to show you in this video how to set up these accessories, how to use them, and talk about some of the different things you can do with these new accessories. Hi, I'm Paul Holly. I'm with Burger King Manufacturing and today we're going to show doing a retrofit on a 960-272 to adapt over for a surface grinder. When you receive your surface grinder you're going to unpackage it out of the box. It's going to look like this here and there's going to be a bag to it which has a few different items. Your hand wheel, handle, hardware. So we're going to go through and start attaching these items and getting it prepped up to go on the machine. So you also have instructions that come along with your surface grinder. In those instructions it tells you to install this hand wheel and to use a little bit of Loctite when doing so. So we're going to take some Loctite, put a little drop on the threads, Tighten that up. Once we get the hand wheel in, we're going to pivot this around and we're going to install the handle for the X axis. To do so, we slip the handle in slide it in place onto the pin. There's a spacer. We'll slide the spacer in place. And then there's a shoulder bolt with a washer. Snug that up. You should still be able to freely pivot your X axis. Tighten this down. The kit comes with a small screw to put in place for a dial indicator. The surface grinder kit does not come with a dial indicator, so you can get one of your choice to put in place here. This kit will come with a new contact wheel. This is a serrated contact wheel for heavier grinding to keep the heat out. At this point in time, we're gonna be ready to take our machine off of the pedestal and put on the surface grinder attachment. Okay, this is a spot where if you had an extra set of hands, it'd be very helpful so you don't drop the machine. We're going to take the bolts out that hold the machine to the pedestal.
once you've removed the machine off of the pedestal, we'll bring over our surface grinder attachment, set the surface grinder on attachment onto the pedestal, and check to see if you have any rock when trying to push on this. If you have an older machine, there's a possibility that you may have some movement up on this top side. And if you do, we highly recommend to shim that up so that you remove all rock and play out of this. This one is real good. We don't have any rock, so we're good to start attaching. Once you've started the first two, we're going to loosen this adapter up, pivot the x-axis, and get it to where we can get to the locating point of the next two bolts. Go ahead and tighten up these two. Pivot back. Tighten these two. You want to make sure everything in your x-axis still moves nice and freely. This one's sliding nice, so our next step is going to be removing the knob so that we can put the machine back onto the surface grinder mount. Be sure to remove knob and washer. You'll want to bring your helper back in. Place the machine over the stud, it's on the surface grinder mount, put the washer back in place, and the thread the knob down. Don't tighten it at this point because we need to line everything up to bolt back the machine back to the surface grinder mount. Once you've attached the machine to the surface grinder mount, we can take the contact wheel off and be ready to install the magnetic chuck slide. We're going to remove the original 902 solid contact wheel. If you 
go ahead and install the magnetic check at this time. It gives you a little bit more room. There are some notches that's machined into the bottom rail of the magnetic check. Those notches are going to drop down into the clamping device. Drop these down. And we're going to slide the chuck forward. You want to slide the chuck forward to the point that the locating pin has a stopping rest right up here. That's a stopping rest you'll use whenever you bevel. Tighten up the two bolts. And before we put a contact wheel back on, <coughs> We want to make sure that this surface is square with the edge of the bearing where the wheel runs off of. It's going to be easier if we take the wheel guard off. Slide this out of our way. At this point, you want to make sure that you're flat on the base and line up with the edge of the flange for the contact wheel. This one is lined up perfectly where we're at. So we want to put our stopper in place and tighten this down so that the machine's going to repeat itself if you do vertical horizontal grinding. We'll put the contact wheel guard back on. The new serrated contact wheel. We're gonna have to lower our chuck down. Put the belt back on. Want to reline our contact wheel guard and platen with the belt. We're going to adjust the C face where the machine is standing up and down for surface grinding. Be sure to lock both bolts back in place when tightening up the C face. And you're ready to surface grind off the top of your magnetic chuck and wrap up your surface grinder attachment. 
If you have any questions doing this, feel free to call Burger King Manufacturing at 1-800-621-2748. Thank you.